Hi guys, welcome to my Amsterdam vlog. Um, we got the train straight into the central station from the airport and then walked straight over to Mortimer's. Um, we were really, really hungry and I just had to get an English breakfast as I do as soon as I go anywhere. We then carried on on our way to the hotel and walked past the flower market which was on the itinerary of things we wanted to do and see. Uh, we had a look round, um, it was quite cold, not really the season for flowers but they had some beautiful dried flowers and um, loads and loads of bulbs. I did actually kind of want to get something to um, take it home with me. I was really tempted, um, especially by um, just some of the bulbs. I thought maybe I could sneak them into my suitcase, but I didn't want to risk it and uh, be pulled over by airport security and have them pull all these uh, bulbs out of my bag. We got to the hotel. It was super, super cute. It's in the... Um, pipe district uh, I'm not too sure how you say it but it was lovely a brilliant location uh, this is just a little tour of the room we got two single rooms but we didn't realize well two single beds but we didn't realize it'd be separated um, by a wall which we thought was quite funny um, and then we had a little bathroom which was nice fully functional there's me hello hello and yeah, it was just a quite small room. It's a very reasonably priced hotel. Uh, but my favourite thing by far about it was just the location and the view overlooking all the little gingerbread houses. As it was our first day in Amsterdam, we went for a wander around. We walked over to the museum, which was only about five minutes walk. The Rix Museum, it is full of beautiful works of art, but as we'd both been before, we didn't go in. We went over to the park and I actually saw some parakeets in a tree, which I thought was strange, but apparently it isn't. Apparently there. there's lots of parakeets. Uh, we then went to the Blue Tea House, which is basically a blue tea house and we went for a cup of tea so standard really also to get out of the cold as it's very very cold in Amsterdam and I always forget that. We then wandered through the streets um, just kind of soaking up the city and the ambiance really and stopped at this restaurant called Lido just have a drink and sit in the warm again. We were very, very cold. I had an Aperol spritz because it always makes me think of holiday and just gets me in the mood for holiday. And it went straight to my head. So, yes, I'm a one drink wonder. I'm a, not a big drinker. So, so the size of this has kind of finished me off, to be honest. <laughs> Um, I then decided to order lobster because I was hungry and a little bit drunk by this point, which was really, really tasty. We then kept seeing these little boats go past along the canal and it just looked lovely and it's something I've always wanted to do in Amsterdam. So we decided to book a boat tour right then and there. We jumped on the blue boat and had a lovely tour around the city. It was gorgeous. I loved seeing the architecture and just the whole city from the water. It's a completely new vantage point. Uh, the captain and the crew members were telling us lots just about the history of Amsterdam, which was very interesting, how they built the canals and so on and so forth. I really enjoyed this, but unfortunately, as I was up very, very early to get on the plane, I did fall asleep and I think everyone thought I was either drunk or high, which I was not. I was just very tired and uh, passed out on a table of tourists, which I do think most of them found it just amusing. I kept being woken up and I just couldn't keep my eyes open and... I was just falling asleep again, so, but yes, enjoyed it while I was awake, for sure.
really good location um, but it's very loud <laughs> but I was so tired I just fell asleep so that's fine um, today we're going to the Coit Market an area called the Jordan or Jordan and a food place this is the view from outside the window, which is lovely. This is definitely my favourite part. Um, with all the little little gingerbread houses in the canals. So, here is um, my lovely breakfast buffet. I'm going to have a Spanish um, or Spanish tortilla and then um, some black Angus shreds um and then <laughs> i'm having a um english breakfast tea and a barocca uh to start the day <laughs> which was really cute. It was something very different. I've never actually been to a jazz bar before. Um, and yeah, it was just quite cool. I do enjoy live music a lot. Um, so that was really fun. And then we went from there to uh, Mill Craig for a drum and bass night. So very different vibes. So uh, this is the day after quite liked my outfit today so I thought I'd show it to you. Um, warm but also practical I would call it. Also hiding my eyes with some sunglasses because I was out quite late which is unusual for me. We then walked over to get the tram to go and get some breakfast and I saw this in the park. didn't know what it was but there was lots of women well, older ladies hanging on to this frame, shaking their legs. Not sure what it was or what they were doing. Please explain someone in the comments if you know. Uh, I then also saw this, which I found very amusing. Um, and that's how they get things into the tops of the houses. Uh, they actually lift them up on these little lifts. Um which is quite ingenious, uh, but also slightly impractical. As you can see here, the traffic is just piling up. Who knows what's going on? Chaos, chaos. We then got on the tram. We got a 24-hour ticket. Would definitely recommend getting one of these. 
Trams are super easy to navigate with in Amsterdam and much cheaper than the Uber. Um, would definitely, definitely recommend. You can go quite far on them as well. Here I am, enjoying the tram. We then got off the tram. I saw this poster of Sam Smith and my hangover got worse. I also saw all these dog treats and cat treats. Um, so I went in and got some for my kitty. Uh, we then made it to the breakfast place, which was somewhere I found called Little Collins. It was really nice, kind of seasonal, local food, uh, quite limited menu. Coffee was really lovely. And I had uh, this kind of meat thing for breakfast, which was delicious. Um, and then I got some eggs on top of it as well because I was still hungry. We then decided to walk off the breakfast and just have a wander around on the way to the photography museum. Uh, I kept seeing cake everywhere and I got really excited because I found this place which was called Petite by Sam. It had amazing cake and it was all gluten and dairy free which is amazing. I was so happy I got three little slices. I absolutely never find nice gluten and dairy free cake so very very happy there. We then went on to the photography museum. I was really disappointed by this actually, it was very expensive to get in. Um, there was not really, there was one main exhibit and that was kind of it. So there wasn't loads to look around. Um, once you'd done that one exhibition, there was not really much else to see. So I wouldn't particularly recommend that photography museum at all. gluten-free dairy-free cakes from this place that we just found quite near the hotel. I think it's Petite by Sam um, and all the cake was uh, gluten dairy-free. Um, so I'm very excited because I don't often get cake. Uh, so yes, these are my ones. Little banana bread. And a little um, lemon sponge as well. Uh, I've been trying to keep off sugar, but not going very well today. Um, but I think it's nice to have a treat because otherwise I might not have anything for a very long time. So on our last night in Amsterdam, we just went and kind of sat in this pub that was very, very near the hotel and just watched the world go by really. I had a orange juice as I'm not really much of a drinker and yeah, just sat and kind of people watched, which was really, really nice. I felt like we saw a bit more of the actual Dutch culture rather than uh, the tourist spots. We also ordered some of these that we saw a lot of people eating, which were amazing. We then went on to Café de Clos, which do the best ribs. If you go there, get the ribs. Um, they're amazing. I made the mistake of getting the chicken. Don't be like me. Don't make the same mistakes that I've made. So that was our last night in Amsterdam. 
Um, I had such a lovely time here. It was my second time visiting the city and I felt like I saw a lot more than I did previously. Um, I hope it's given you some ideas for what you'd like to do if you visit and yeah, I hope you've enjoyed if you've watched this far.